بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم ورتل القرآن ترتيلا بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Welcome to another clip in مخارج الحروف with Baba Salam Today we have a new letter from among the letters of Al-Lisan the letters of the tongue of which involve and engage the tongue and today's letter is Dha. Dha is one of three letters that also come from the same point of articulation. All right. Dha is articulated Dha. It is a Zai or it is a Z with a dot beneath if you want to use transliteration. Dha is articulated by putting pressure on the edge of the roots of the upper teeth. All right. Basically by engaging the tip of the of the of the tongue as well as the tip of the upper upper teeth the back of the tongue elevates to meet the upper palate as it is a thick a thick letter let's take a look at this va is one of the letters which requires extra effort from the reader in order for him to successfully or properly articulate this its sound so va it is easy to produce Zai instead of the or thal or tha. That is why when one is reading with laziness, he is likely to undermine the articulation of the, thal as well as tha, especially if he is a beginner. All right. It is when we allow it to continue, then it becomes a habit. When we allow that to continue, it becomes it, it becomes a habit. So we should adopt the opposite, which is the positive habit of engaging whatever organs are involved so that we will develop the proper habit for articulating the, the, as well as the. So apply silence to it and put any active letter in front of it and you will be able to get the, the. Please do not say the, the. It is not the, it is the. Just imagine yourself producing the with heaviness. The, the, elf, elf, elf. You should feel your the tips of your tongue touching the tips of your upper teeth and you will be good to go. Examples. وَإِذَا أَظْلَمَ عَلَيْهِمْ قَامُوا أَظْلَمَ أَظْلَمَ and for and you have we have tackled the point of articulation of board remember that and refer to the to the episode somewhere up there if you're on youtube all right and the next will be لِيَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ لِيَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ So we shouldn't say لِيَوْمٍ عَظِيمٍ That is not the right word when we articulate that instead of عظيم عظيم Alright? And this marks the end of the articulation of ضاء Until the next السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وَيَرَتِّلِ الْقُرْآنَ تَرْتِيلًا